I'm David Brock, Senior Research Fellow at the Chemical Heritage Foundation, joining you from CHF's museum. This humble looking black painted metal box is actually quite a revolutionary uh, tool of the chemist that played a key role in the transformation of chemistry in the middle of the 20th century. Um, this is the Beckman uh, ultraviolet model DU spectrophotometer. Um, with it, chemists were able to determine the characteristic fingerprint of uh, various elements and compounds by their absorption, um, their absorption of particular wavelengths of ultraviolet light. Particular materials absorb uh, particular wavelengths of light in very particular patterns, and um, by identifying these patterns, one could tell what elements were in a mixture and how much of them were. And many, many compounds that um, are active in um, biology, in the chemistry of life, have these distinctive uh, fingerprints in the ultraviolet regime. Um, introduced in the early 1940s, uh, this um, electronic instrument that basically used electronic detection of these um, absorption lines um, really speeded chemists' ability to um, detect these characteristic fingerprints um, with greater accuracy and speed. And um, it was a, a blockbuster hit uh, in terms of um, an instrument, very popular, um, very much uh, helping to usher in this new era where electronics powered instruments help to transform the practice of chemistry. Interestingly, one of the very first uses of the DU spectrophotometer was in research that showed that um, the molecule DNA was the critical uh, molecule involved in genetics and heredity. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the DU or the role of chemistry in the life sciences, please visit um, the CHF Museum in Philadelphia or visit us online at chemheritage.org. I'm David Brock. Thank you very much.